Hello everyone and welcome back. So maybe you have uh, seen in the Minecraft forums that um, somebody discovered a way to change the metadata of a block. And yeah, if you don't know what the metadata is, it's an additional value uh, which is also called the damage value of a block which uh, stores additional information. And for example, for wool blocks it stores the color of the wool. And yeah, and what I've uh, done so far, I will link the uh, uh, original video in the description so you can check it out. And yeah, he j um, discovered a way to actually change the metadata of a block with pistons. And yeah, I, I tried to make an uh, uh, automate version of it, which yeah, doesn't include as many hand steps as the other ones. And yeah, therefore allows for mass production and so on. And yeah, this is what I've uh, built here. So, yeah, to give an, you an example, what it can do, you can j simply place a block here, yeah, and convert it to a different color. You can, uh, in this case, you can change the color here. Uh, for example, we can also change it. Uh, you won't uh, lose the redstone torch which I'm placing here. It just uh, drops down here and you can collect them back and yeah and so you actually can do very cool stuff with this uh, um, metadata changer for example uh, yeah the one of the coolest ways uh, if you don't know already to is yeah you can change house slabs so a, a double house slab or a normal one can be changed to either uh, this is cobblestone Uh, wooden double half slap Yeah, okay, this is the cobblestone one now we get um, bricks This is stone bricks and now it gets interesting because there isn't actually any more uh, Double half slabs left beside the standard ones which you will get if you uh, Uh, yeah, if you uh, replace it by hand, but if you just let the machine run here, uh, you will get these very cool seamless double stone slabs. So, so you can simply uh, place them. And yeah, the cool fact about these is you can alt uh, actually get them back. So if I'm just. switch myself back to and uh, I don't have any pickaxe uh, and I get hurt by big slimes then oh man uh, and it's a bit annoying that you can't uh, yeah change the server proper uh, the difficulty of the server uh, so quickly but uh, yeah what I was um, talk trying to, to uh, show is that you can actually get um, you recollect this block so if you just wind it with a pickaxe it will look like a normal half slab but if you replace it it will actually keep this uh, cool seamless design so yeah you can actually uh, just produce this block here and build structures out of it so it's you can uh, get a new block with it uh, which is really cool and yeah as you can see it's also uh, pretty fast to produce if you try to produce it as fast as possible and uh, if you don't know you should now uh, check out the standard version where you uh, actually have to yeah, uh, do uh, steps for at least 10 seconds or so to get uh, one of these blocks so you have to place water manually and uh, then uh, push buttons and so on but yeah this version here is completely automated and it's pretty cool and yeah just some other cool things you can do with this I just want to show you to everyone which uh, hasn't seen the uh, value data changer yet you can for example create infinite uh, mossy and cracked stone bricks because stone bricks store if they are uh, mossy or cracked also in the metadata and the most amazing fact is probably stairs because stairs do simply rotate 
so this there is rotated but um, as there are only four directions guess what happens if we choose another one um, we get an invisible block which uh, yeah which has some very interesting properties so this block still uh, has the property of a stone stair so it can uh, you can mine it only with a pickaxe and you will get a stair back but it actually doesn't let water and doesn't also doesn't let a light pass through so if I'm just placing blocks here you can see it's completely dark inside there and so you can make a ceiling which is seems to be uh, yeah in the sunlight but is uh, actually totally dark and yeah this skeleton also doesn't know to do what to do because it thinks it's inside the block with his head which is also pretty cool and you, c you can also uh, still push um, mobs with these weird blocks and you can make it with any stair as you can see here and they have also some other unique properties and it's yeah it's really cool what you can do with them and this skeleton is actually inside the block here but just glitches out because I'm on multiplayer yeah but um, yeah this is uh, the only downside is that you can't uh, pick up these blocks you just can move these with pistons so and yeah there are also, also some other cool uses for these uh, for example you can change uh, yeah the wood type let's um okay this is actually just the same let's choose this one yeah so now we get dark wood or we can probably create jungle wood here yes so yeah th that's also pretty cool if you want to build with the jungle wood but don't want to find jungle biome you, <laughs> you could also use this machine um yeah and it's not that difficult to build so for everyone who is interested in I will try to make a tutorial for it now so okay let's begin uh, first uh, the thing you have to do is find a spot where you can build it so the problem is you can't uh, just place it everywhere because it depends on the hash size and uh, on the way the blocks are on the order the blocks are updated and that means we have to do some tests if we are lucky and actually can find some so uh, find the right position so to begin with um, yeah place two pistons like this then a sticky piston facing in this direction on top and now I'm just taking a look at uh, the original so um, yeah the signal will come from this side so uh, what we are checking out now is simply if um, a block here no this one won't work because it's in a, oh no yeah, I made something wrong Okay, so uh, in this spot it doesn't work because uh, yeah, this piston here doesn't get a signal. So let's try it again, maybe here. And maybe we are luckier this time. So we have to connect, disconnect these uh, two wires uh, with this block here, and no, still unlucky. Okay, uh, uh, let's do a third try. Okay, so I finally found a spot where it is working. So it's uh, just the same setup, but in this case, if you remove the torch, this uh, piston will also push, and yeah, you can now do it with a block with. Uh, metadata and you will see the wool becomes white so we now finally have found a spot and yeah 
we can remove this uh, old ones of course uh, where our machine will work and now we can continue so from now on it's actually very simple to continue here so um, first thing is we will replace this here uh, just with a leveler because otherwise we'll just uh, uh, yeah, get weird connections here because we now uh, hook up a pulse shortener here and its output it's on this side and as we also need the signal reverted uh, we can simply yeah, I'll just ta just take a look yeah um, one block higher here we can revert it and place a t uh, repeater on the second delay here and the redstone here and uh, a normal, normal piston in the sticky piston like this and they will just uh, push the finished product uh, out there and then yeah, push it on the stack and we also have to place let me just take a look here yeah and you can see it's not too difficult so this piston here uh, just prevents the water from flowing uh, if and uh, the machine is not running and we need this repeater, re repeater here otherwise the timing is too short and uh, last thing basically to do is add another pulse shortener here so lock again then another repeater on the third delay and here is the output of it and this output powers another sticky piston and this one is needed uh, yeah because uh, yeah in some cases if you can't place the uh, oh, it's a bit difficult by why you need it just uh, <laughs> uh, trust me you will need it and uh, we need another uh, time this because this only gets us uh, yeah very short pulse and uh, we want to pull it back afterwards so we need a uh, second pulse here and I think we are basically done now let me just take a look here yeah we have covered all the parts so uh, one thing left to do is place another block here where you can place the redstone torch again then we can cover it all a bit and of course we need to build water kennel So for testing purposes uh, I will now take a white wool and yeah, place it here and everything failed. And I especially like when the water doesn't disappear, yeah. So always yeah, make a wall here, and so the the I think what was wrong here in this case is simply that I forgot that, that this thing shouldn't be powered at all. Uh, why the hell is it then? Um, What the hell is going on here? Uh, something is uh, in the wrong position. Yeah, was just a missing redstone because of the water. Okay, uh, now uh, this piston had to be here. Uh, has to be here because otherwise we'll get these uh, damn updates uh, glitches. So um, yeah, let's test it again.
And now it works. Okay, so in this case it's green wool. If we place it one block clo closer to the water source, we get another color. So uh, basically, only thing to left to do is uh, make a nice little platform here. And uh, now just make it um, switchable with some levers. So um, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we are already pretty close to the damn slimes pushing me around. Oh man, alter Schwede. Okay, it's uh, very simple to build this water kennel just. Uh, I will use some glass here be so, so yet that you can see better. And I messed up the timing from the repeater. So uh, yeah, sh now we can place water all over the pistons. And we now can control from where the water comes by simply uh, activating all the pistons uh, beside one. So the water will only flow down here, and this is what uh, yeah basically decides how long the water will travel. And let's just test it out. So this time we get pink wool and. This time we get uh, grey wool, and yeah, it's uh, you can also make some more colors if you let the water fall from the top. But uh, uh, as we don't really need wool colors, we can pretty simple farm them with a wool farm, as you may may have probably seen in our uh, multiplayer series. Um, and uh, the other blocks which are special, so the invisible stairs and the uh, call uh, the stone bricks and the seamless double stone slabs can all be crafted uh, just with uh, this machine here. So I thought the other half is unnecessary because um, it's not possible to build it with this setup because we need the detector piston on top. Then you would have to build it completely different. Yeah, but I thought this is pretty nice and compact and I sh wanted to share it with you. So um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your new block transmuter and see you next time.